never seen such a concerted rollout of basically military martial law acclamation conditioning drills going on. Atterbury, Indiana. Uh, they're all over the news showing uh, burning vehicles and terrorists attacking, but it's all simulated to create the perception of fear in the general public. The U.S. Army conducts military occupation drill in small town Wisconsin. Kit Daniels has an article on that. Operation Trigger emulates military control of local elected officials. That's on record. The Army PSYOPs is running that operation. And then you've got, uh, of course, the fake terror drills, which they told police were real. Uh, this week in Austin, Texas, it just goes on and on. That is just some of what we're going to be breaking down and covering today. And again, when you go and read what the PSYOP groups are admitting, this is for America. This is Brigade Homeland that the Pentagon's been talking about for five years. And they're taught their enemy is not Al-Qaeda. This is even in the Washington Times Associated Press. Their enemy will be the Tea Party. They believe that will attack their loving leaders, their loving foreign bankers that have taken over. Their only problem is most of the military is waking up to the fact that the command structure is under a corporate foreign coup d'etat, which is French for coup d'etat, to quote the great philosopher um, Carlos from the movie Hop. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, to get serious here, uh, we haven't done an article on this yet, but kiosks and libraries everywhere are being sent to videos are saying you can't get to Infowars.com. People are shooting video of this because it's, quote, racist. And also, Br a British library network blocks Hamlet for violent content. So this is the new, they can teach five-year-olds in the UK and the US how to <clears throat> do things that I didn't know about until I was 20. Things I can't even say on adult radio. You know what they teach them. But you can't have Hamlet because it's got some sword fights in it, and that's violent. You've got to learn how to be a minion. Plus, it makes government you know, out as corrupt and, and it's very thought-provoking. To, to be or not to be, that is the question. Is it nobler? The point is, is that that's being banned, don't worry, and Infowars.com. Thank goodness. And I mentioned this briefly yesterday, but after the show, I noticed he'd been banned from the radio circuit, blacklisted. From the rodeo circuit. And they've got representatives saying it's the ugly face of intolerance and racism. A rodeo clown dressed up like Obama as part of a skit. And uh, don't worry, he'll never work again. You don't make fun of Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-il. In Nazi Germany, you don't make fun of Adolf Hitler. In communist China, you don't make fun of Mao Zedong. And you don't make fun of Obama. Well, guess what? I'm going to do it today. I'm so Atlanta, the free home of the brave. And the worst part was that they made a joke about the clown being chased by the bull. That's what the rodeo clowns do for folks that never been to a rodeo. They're saying that's the threat on the president now. That the, that the bull chased him around. That's what the clowns do. And by the way, I've read about rodeos where they did jokes of Nixon, Reagan, and others. That's, that's, that's part of the deal. And I'm sure it was playing to an anti-Obama sentiment. But, but I can tell you, this is the type of stuff that goes on at rodeos. So I'm going to commit a thought crime. I'm going to destroy the image of our leader today on air. I don't wish our dear leader, puppet leader, uh, any harm. The last thing I want is that he turn into a martyr. But, but I will commit the thought crime. I mean, will the Secret Service come? I'm going to smash this mask on air of our Fuhrer, our leader, our commander. I'm going to play Obama, a child praying to Obama while I do it. We've got a big broadcast lined up. Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs in studio, Dan Dixon studio, and Dr. Seth Farber as well. All this and more, super friends, as Aquaman saves the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show. Turn me loose. I'm a live wire transmitting worldwide, ladies and gentlemen. We're being brought in by a motley group of fellas. 
And when it comes to liberty, I am Motley, ladies and gentlemen. I am not bowing down. I am not a slave. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday, the 13th day of August 2013. I am your host, Alex Jones. We're going to be live here for the next three hours. Staff Sergeant Joseph Biggs, very interesting fellow. Really an interesting war story. He's seen a massive amount of combat. Uh, if, if you can dig it out of him, uh, he's going to be in studio with us. Friends, of course, with the award-winning uh, reporter Michael Hastings, whose car blew up. New mainstream news developments on that on his car was not going as fast as they said. It did uh, blow up, according to witnesses in video, and he was investigating the CIA director. That was what he was looking into, and that's what he told friends as well. When the car went boom, so uh, he'll be popping in with us in the next hour. Dan Dix. Uh, Press for Truth from Canada is down here visiting with us, working on Obama Deception 2 with us around the country, shooting amazing B-roll for us. Uh, he's down here working on the film with us. He'll be popping in. And then Dr. Seth uh, Farber, who's a psychiatrist, will be getting into how the uh, psychological definitions they're coming out with just say, uh, uh, saying that if anybody basically wants any liberty or any type of freedom, uh, that uh, they are uh, mentally ill. So that is coming up uh, today uh, in the third hour. Uh, this first hour, of course, will be jam-packed with the news uh, and information here. I want to get into Obamacare. Now that it's being implemented, uh, everything that was in the bill that they wouldn't let us see until days before they passed it uh, uh, two-plus years ago is now coming out. And if you go up to DrudgeReport.com, it has probably the uh, largest group uh, of uh, stories uh, breaking down uh, exactly what's going on. Insurers need not set limits on out-of-pocket expenses. It's now being announced. Uh, Sebelius is coming out and saying this is not a bait and switch, which is exactly uh, what it is. Uh, continuing, uh, McConnell is saying don't open Obamacare exchanges if privacy isn't protected. Well, I mean, it's designed under Obamacare to give all your data to every federal, state agency, and thousands of corporations. That's all on record. Uh, low premium, high deductible health plans endangered. It was always meant to get rid of uh, uh, health care insurance competition to the uh, Big Ten or so insurance companies that wrote the bill with Mitt Romney and then got Obama to ram it through because idiot Democrats will support any fascist gang rape by corporations if it's got a Democrat over it. Uh, also, uh, employer fine will swell uh, despite delay. That's right. Um, no one gets any free health care unless you're illegal aliens, basically, and then it cuts the quality of the care, lets government tell doctors what care they're going to give with the death panels, and is designed to, in the next five years, rape everyone financially and then implode uh, the health care system. 61% of doctors announced they're going to take early retirement. Uh, that's in big Gallup polls. Uh, it's designed to absolutely federalize everything else. The feds are coming to medical doctors of all types and saying, you get with the program, join our combines, and we'll give you protection from all these new rules that are written to where all of you can be put in jail for anything. Not dotting an I, not crossing a T, you name it, you're gone. You name it, it's over. You name it, it's the end for you unless you sign documents and join us. So it is the nationalization, the socialization of healthcare happening right now, the destruction of the one of the best healthcare systems in the world, now taken over by the eugenicists and the social engineers to fully run our lives. And if you play ball with the New World Order, you'll get your healthcare. If you don't, you won't. Just like if you're not a Democratic donor, you can't keep your General Motors um, dealership even if you've had it 85 years and then democratic party donors they get your dealership that, that and that's all on record i mean it, it is just the wholesale shutting down of the entire society across the board and this has always been the program this has always been the plan this has always been the operation 
This has always been the program. Shut down America, pass regulations and taxes that no one can pay except the insiders who are exempt and write the loopholes for themselves. This is command and control economy by offshore mega banks that are, make the mafia look like sweethearts, completely shutting everything down right now. Meanwhile, to divert us, they make everything about race as a distraction and a diversion when, when black mobs who have been encouraged to do this by the media attack white people every day, beating their brains out and shooting them and killing them. It never makes it out of the local news. I've got cases of that uh, in the local news from different parts of the country. In Minnesota and other areas yesterday, uh, one white guy was beat up by a group of 40 black people, his head beat in. That's in all the police reports. He's in a coma. Uh, and uh, that's just the way it is. One more dead cracker. Uh, if they take him off the life support. MSNBC jokes and says it's time to get the crackers. Uh, Al Sharpton says it's the cracker asses that have the guns. We're going to get them. Fox Sports says it's racist whites that have the guns. This is meant to invoke whites to become racist, to then have a clash of civilizations. There it is, man in coma after black mob of 50 pummels him. World Net Daily reporting on that. But this is the type of issue to, again, invoke racial division so that then it can selectively be focused on by the media to accelerate the clash while the military trains to take over every major U.S. city. And that's coming up at the bottom of the hour from Atterbury, Indiana, uh, to areas in Wisconsin. The, the U.S. Army Psychological Warfare practices taking over U.S. towns and taking over the functions of elected officials in the CA and PSYOP operation, command battalion. So the globalists are getting ready, folks. It, 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 it's in the cards. That doesn't mean they're going to play the card to invoke race war in this country as a pretext to send in military stabilization forces, which we will never basically get out of. We're going under globalist receivership, globalist reconstruction. Meanwhile, libraries uh, across the world are banning things like 1984, uh, because it, quote, has sex in it for the children while they teach the children how to have sex at age five. And they're banning uh, Hamlet for violent content and Infowars.com for racist content. I'm not kidding, because we're racist, folks. You've, you've heard MSNBC. They say Ron Paul is racist. They have no evidence. They just say it over and over again. But even if we were racist, we shouldn't have our free speech blocked by Skynet. Politico, AP, Reuters, they all report Representative William Lacey Clay on clown, ugly face of intolerance. Obama, Obama uh, is supposedly above the law and above criticism. He can illegally spy. He can eagle, uh, illegally detain. They can disappear people. They can give $85 billion a month. And again, he's just the front man of all this. So everybody goes after Obama politically. He's just the mask of the bankers, the mask of the establishment. And when they're done doing that, ladies and gentlemen, they can just bring in a new puppet that we all start attacking. And when a Republican does everything Obama's been doing, why the conservatives will defend it and the Democrats will decry it. It's time for us to unify against anybody that violates the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And let me tell you, Obama's a lot worse than I thought he'd be. He's about double what any president's ever done. As bad as Bush was, as bad as Clinton was, uh, to the Bill of Rights Constitution. And that's, that's, that's many top liberals um, have agreed with that analysis and pointed out that Obama is the more effective of evils. So I'm going to take you out to break here with a video that's up on DrudgeReport.com on the left-hand side. Video, Boy Praise to Obama. This is an Infowars.com story. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because 
Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. Imagine in land of the free, home of the brave, if at a rodeo in Missouri, they have a clown with the president on it. And the national media is calling for the guy to be fired. He has been fired. He has been blacklisted by the Rodeo Association that has put out a letter saying that he has been blacklisted. They're very, very proud of themselves. And clearly the announcer and everybody else were involved in it, and it was part of a skit. Why don't we fire the janitor of the rodeo? You know, let's let the government fund Al-Qaeda, murder people in mass, spy on us illegally, persecute the press, arrest uh, members of the media for just reporting news, uh, you know, federalize police, the government openly training to confiscate our guns, saying the number one enemy is Tea Party. They have the military all over the country trying to take on local governments if they stand up for the Bill of Rights and Constitution, just like the county government said they knew the government was planning to do, what was it, Lubbock last year, guys? It was Lubbock, wasn't it? Yes. So, 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 so we've got all of that going on. And meanwhile, the, the socialist and people don't like their dear leader, people making fun of them. And so now don't worry, he's been blacklisted, don't worry. Uh, and they're saying it's racist now uh, and all the rest of it. And, and this may even be staged, for all we know. We've caught him doing racist stuff to go after Rand Paul. Uh, we caught him just a few weeks ago, the Democrats down there at the Trayvon Martin deal saying we're all racist and saying racist stuff in front of the news cameras. So this could be staged. Quite frankly, I've watched some of the video of it and seen the photos. It looks like it was something real. It sounds like something they did do. And by the way, there probably are people out in the middle of nowhere that, you know, make jokes about black people. I guarantee you, you go to some you know, other ethnic event, you're going to see people making fun of other groups. That's what humans do. But the whole point is, is it, is, is it big national news? No, it's national news because they want to divert us and distract us. And they're, I mean, I've got the quotes here. They've got a, mus uh, a, a uh, musician saying, uh, it was scary. Everybody screamed and just went wild as the announcer talked about having the bull run down the clown with the Obama mask. It was at that point I began to feel a sense of fear. It was the level of enthusiasm beam a 48-year-old musician from Higgsville said Sunday referring to the reaction from the crowd that filled the fair's grandstand. Now that's where CNN and the rest of them, because I've seen it on TV, are really playing on the ignorance of most people that hadn't been to a rodeo. You may have seen bull riding on TV or something professionally, but not what goes on during the breaks. The clowns always run from the bulls. The, the, the announcer always says, that bull going to get him. That bull going to run him down. That is standard, and that is not racist, okay? They're trying to say they want to run down our God, Obama, who, who's the puppet front man for the globalist. They're saying they want to run him down. Oh, my goodness. It's so evil. It's so bad, ladies and gentlemen, to make fun of our leader. No one should be able to even wear a mask of him on Halloween because that's racist, too. You make fun of Obama. You've seen all these stories about how it's racist to make fun of Obama. When everybody made fun of Bush. Everybody made fun of Ronald Reagan. I've made fun of Bush myself and gone out with Joe Rogan, dressed like, like Bush Sr. He was Bush Jr. And he throws me out of a wheelchair. We all know, oh, my gosh, Joe Rogan and Alex Jones, they're against white people. No, we're not. We were doing a skit about them being devil worshippers at Bohemian Grove. We were joking around. It's Belly the Beast intro. You guys can probably find it. So I say this. They say you can't, can't say that a bull was going to run over a clown, and they play on the ignorance of the people. Going, they wanted to have bulls run over Obama. That's a death threat. That's a, no, it's not. But here's the deal. This is not a sacred image. Obama is just a puppet frontman who symbolizes tyranny in this nation and collectivism and don't worry about tyranny and you didn't build your business.
So now they're saying the Secret Service might investigate because the bull might, but you know, is that a threat to Obama? What a load of bull. You know what? I'm not intimidated by all this. I want nothing to happen to Obama because he's a nothing but a front man of the globalist. I want him to be discredited and politically destroyed. An American idea is brought forward again, but I'll tell you one thing. I've got every right to, des to destroy the image of the so-called emperor, and I'll do it any time I please. You understand that, you scumbag, New World Order filth? Good. Unbelievable how they sit there and play people like a fiddle. How they sit there and manipulate everybody, and I, for one, am sick and tired of it. Now, I'm not going to get much more mad today, folks, but people praying to Obama... The media trying to make him some kind of, you know, godlike dictator and all this crud, while the military trains to take on conservatives and libertarians. This country's in danger. And I need to conserve my energy. I got a bunch of guests coming up and a lot of news today. And believe me, I'm not putting on an act here upset on air. I was blowing up during the break. God help me. Does anybody else get concerned about what's going on here? All the news straight ahead. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is a opposite side of the universe from NPR and the attempt to brainwash you and put you into a trance with hypnotism, we're it. I am the polar opposite of NPR. They promote collectivism, communism, socialism, corporate cronyism, lies, deceit, division, fraud, scamming, sucking off taxpayers. We support the opposite of that. And uh, I do get wound up in here because I, I, I read news for hours at night, hours in the morning. And then I go exercise, I come into work, and then I just blow up on air a lot. It, 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 it really does happen. And I need to settle down and cover the news uh, here. It's just that it really gets to me to see what an authoritarian country we're turning into and how the system wants to put out the message that you don't talk about government, that that's somehow unpatriotic. If you're a radio listener, I had a plastic mask of uh, the so-called person that is the front man for the globalist uh, as they dismantle the country. And I'm very upset about the country being dismantled. I'm very upset about them shutting off our energy systems, our industrial systems. This is acts of war by the globalist on record, post-industrial operation. And seeing my country destroyed and conquered is very painful so that we can all be collectivized and uh, be, be turned into slaves and to watch them pass unconstitutional laws so you can't get your money out of the country or where citizens can't even leave if they say you, quote, uh, aren't allowed to without even having an indictment or a crime. Uh, the, the, the country is shutting down on every front. But the movie theaters are still open. There's still all the entertainment and all the distractions in the toxic culture, and it really hurts me. It really gets to me. But here is Barack Obama, and I tore up a plastic mask of our, of our king. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Barack Obama is not my king. He is not my master. He is not my lord. He is nothing but a mask of the globalist to bring in their world government. And I have sworn total resistance to it. And I'm sorry if, like a race car, sometimes I shoot my RPMs up and blow an engine on air. Uh, but I appreciate everybody uh, joining us. So, so again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am now Obama Lecter. Uh, CJ saying I look like uh, Hannibal Lecter now with the lower mandible 
uh, of Barack Obama on my face. I think we've created a new character where Obama tells you the truth. Hi, this is Barack Obama without my teleprompter. I was raised by the Ford Foundation and Carnegie Endowment, part of a program of over a thousand children raised with one of them targeted to be president as a front man to bring in the collapse of the United States. I am the expression of a hundred year robber baron program to finally bring the United States to its knees. Soon all of you will learn to serve the collectivization. <laughs> because it's liberal. As I double the funding for forced abortions in China and Africa, as we move forward with the sterilization via Gardasil in Mexico, I will be praised by all the minority organizations and groups because we fund them from the start through the Rockefeller Foundation in 1910, and we control them now, and nothing will stop our operation. Because we do it in a trendy, loving way. <laughs> you guys like the new outfit? Maybe I should maybe I should host the whole show with our new friend. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, go to infowars.com forward slash show to find the free uh, video feed right there. I think we should have more visits with our friend. Obama took his mask off. He ripped the pieces aside, and there was the New World Order technocrats who want to fight racism behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to brush with fluoride, boys and girls, and take your shots. Obama loves you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are... Broadcasting worldwide here today. Thank you for joining us. I'll do whatever it takes to wake you up, ladies and gentlemen. As they say in Full Metal Jacket, are you born again hard, ladies and gentlemen? Or are you a minion? Are you someone to be trampled underfoot by the globalists who think you're a joke? You know, one of the reasons I've been so upset, can we cue it up? Video of boy praise to Obama. I've done it now, folks. This little, to this little boy, this would be like desecrating a crucifix. This would be like like uh, the uh, Federal Department of Arts paying, what was it, a million dollars to to have a group of displays smearing Catholic artifacts uh, in, in, in uh, different types of manure, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands for crucifix in goblets of urine. Well, I mean, how di I just did something far worse for all the little minions out there. I desecrated their king their lord, their master. And we have this video up on Infowars.com. It's up in the tiles. The easiest place to find it is DrudgeReport.com, left-hand side. Video, boy prays to Obama. In a shocking video feature, a child seemingly prays to the commander-in-chief is sparking outrage from conservatives as well as more religious members of the public who view the boy's actions as possibly blasphemous. Well, it's not his fault. They teach people in all communist regimes, where they, they have the little kids in, in kindergarten pray and ask for a school lunch. Because he have been collectivized, the kids are half starving. They don't know they had more food before the communists came in. They just know they only get food if they pray. And they, they you pray to Jesus, pray to Buddha, pray to whatever. They haven't prayed ever. If it's in Asia, they haven't prayed to Buddha and it doesn't happen. Then they go, now pray to, now pray to Ho Chi Minh. And then you pray and there is milk. There is oatmeal, there is porridge, there is eggs, there is food. And it's Pavlovian. You pray to the state. By the way, Paul Watson is going to post an article later about embedded messages in government videos where they have you pray to the state. And this is the type of stuff that goes on. And unless you think this is an isolated case, we have a bunch of other videos where you're taught to praise him and sing to him and pray to him. And on the signpost to uh, perdition, on the signpost to tyranny, this is a big one. So let's go ahead and let's go now to the poor little boy uploaded on his parents' YouTube uh, as they thank Obama. Looks like a pretty nice house, profiling it. I would guess that uh, these are folks are lower middle class, uh, probably government workers. 
and you know, or or they may be on welfare, but it, but it, it looks like a little too nice for welfare unless there's something else going on there. But if you expand on that, isn't there a separation of church and state the way they implement it? So that's a government paid for house. You're not supposed to have praying going on in it. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. Congress can make no law respecting an establishment of, rel of religion or prohibiting the exercise thereof. That's the beginning of the First Amendment. Why are there hundreds of laws on religion in this country? Because it's all unconstitutional. How are they spying on us without warrants? Because we're under an emergency since 1933 when we went under receivership to J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs. Look up the paperwork. We've been under martial law, but we were so free, it's taken them 80 years to break us. 80 years to get us from almost no one on welfare and the wealthiest, fastest growing economy in the world on average 12% growth rate from 1789 until 1913. Look up the numbers. The dollar lost almost none of its value. In fact, they had deflation a lot of the times that actually caused problems. How'd you like a 12% growth rate instead of a 3% fake growth rate? How'd you like a blue collar job? They've got all the studies in the 50s and 60s. Daddy could be a janitor and you lived at a house and could have two cars and go on three or four big vacations a year and put money in there for college. If daddy was a janitor, hey, janitors, can you live like that now? No, you can't because we're being made like the third world. We're not lifting them up. If they had real programs to build power plants and build water systems and then, and then have the local government sign real contracts back, say, to a city like, let's say, Austin sponsored some city in Mexico and they had real above board programs to lift them up. Then I'd be for something like that if we voted for it and, and if locally you voted for that. Because I want to lift people up. That's not what's happening. They go and they pay in the actuaries to break those cities and those societies down. Because they want to make you poor as a weapon of control. That's how the oligarchs operate. That's how feudalism operates. That's how it's operated for 6,000 years. And the Renaissance and the Enlightenment was the rebellion against that. And it's the only shot humanity's ever had at a free system of government. That's why the media spends all day bad-mouthing the Enlightenment and the Renaissance and our forebears and pointing out the, the day and age they lived in, the bad things they were involved in. Yeah, they don't tell you, though, compared to everybody else, they were the vanguard changing it. They don't ever want you to know that, folks, because if you ever discover those ideas, it's over for the elite that want to control everything and want to keep your mind shackled and want to keep you praying to, a, to an incredible betrayer. The health care bill was written by the big insurance companies owned by the mega banks on record to make 35 million people that didn't have insurance get it, to control what care you get, to make it cost more, give you less, and control what doctors can do and make you dependent and then bankrupt all the small HMOs and healthcare companies and groups and outlaw the more affordable healthcare plans. And by the way, we're only a year into this. Premiums, according to Money Magazine, have already gone up 53% on average. Folks, they're going to double by the time they're done by 2015. That's on record. It's not going to be 53 or 52. It's going to be over 100%, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to devastate everyone. Hospitals are shutting down all over the country. The airlock's blown, folks. Tyranny's coming in. We're losing our atmosphere fast. Okay, that's what I'm trying to explain to everybody here. That's why I'm freaking out. We're seeing a total takeover with the military, and I got to get to that. But let's play the little boy because he looks like a sweet little boy. And he's really there praying for Obama, and he flips back and forth like Obama's a man or is Obama God. And this is really sick when Obama and the people that control him are putting fluoride in that little kid's water. They always say, we don't know why, but every major city that studies it, the minority areas have on average like double the fluoride. We don't know why. You don't know why? There's a eugenics cult running things. They want to stick him full of a bunch of shots, folks, so he is basically has a lower IQ. They want to do that to every child. I don't care what color the child is. For some reason, our computer's cutting off the very first word. He says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray Barack Obama. I'm going to pray Barack Obama. So it's like, you're going to pray for him? You're going to pray to Barack Obama? I'm going to pray Barack Obama. And that's nothing compared to, I mean, I've seen clips on the news where they go, he's like Christ. 
he's like Jesus, all this stuff. Let me tell you the special power Barack Obama has. He has the special power to put in federal regulations, even when Congress won't pass them, to put carbon taxes paid to private groups on every tank of gas, every watt of electricity you buy from the local power company. Most of the time it's been privatized and taken over. He has the power to put regulations in to shut down industry and to bankrupt coal that supplied half our power. Now it's like 40%. They're shutting it all down. And to have your power bills go up. Uh, and to ship General Motors to China. Paid to ship at $21 billion. This is the type of stuff that's going on. He's got the power with Al Gore on the board of... Um, Apple to make sure they have the lowest paid factories in China with suicide nets, forced abortions. He has the power to work with Pepsi in their flavor testing system to use fetal uh, cells in the Pepsi preparation. I mean, you can't make this up. Yeah, little kid, he's got, he's got some power, all right. He's got the power to destroy this country. He's got the power to neutralize all the opposition. He's got the power to collectivize this nation. He's got the power to blame when people when they die on the Second Amendment and collectively blame folks. He's got the power with his controllers to create racial division. And he's also got the power, this is just the news in the last hour, Atterbury to host terrorism response training. I saw this on the news. Blown up cars, burning gas stations, millions of dollars being spent. We have it queued up in the computer. And... Again, to create the simulate that there's terrorists everywhere while telling police that there's a real terror threat from Al-Qaeda that they actually run. And then here's another one by Kurt Nemo. That's out of uh, Indiana. U.S. Army conducts military occupation drill in small town Wisconsin. Operation emulates military control of local elected officials. U.S. Army civil affairs and psychological operations, now that they're allowed to operate domestically, they've always been operating, but now it's open. Command Battalion recently practiced joint control of a small town with local authorities in a realistic training exercise. According to an article released by the Army, 22 soldiers from the 432nd Battalion unloaded their Humvees in Gallette, Wisconsin, and set up four operating base in the county fairgrounds in order to conduct assessments of some of the surrounding cities and meet with local key leaders. For the drill, the battalion apparently found it necessary to find a small rural community with complete working infrastructure such as garbage and recycling pickup, police and fire departments, parks, schools, doctors, dentists, chiropractor, and optometrist, all of which would be difficult to find in a war-torn city in Iraq or Afghanistan. We, this is the Army speaking. We chose the city of Gillette for the first time this year because of the size, demographics, and municipalities offered within the city and surrounding areas, said Sergeant First Class Patrick Lyon, or Leon, the non-commissioned officer in charge of the Civilian Military Operations Center. It replicates what we may find in overseas environment. Folks, we, we've caught them in these drills where they openly admit it's domestic. The Army Times admits it's for domestic operations. The Stars and Stripes admits it's for domestic operations. I have video of these where they admit it, but then they'll always tell the media it's not. They'll admit to themselves it is in public documents, but then tell us it's not. Places like Arcadia, Iowa, they train to confiscate guns door to door and admitted it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back live. I want to hit some other news before we get Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs in studio. What a great guy in person. And you can say whatever you want about these illegal wars that are wrong, but I just tell you, when I run into the veterans and people that have been through the flames of adversity, they're just always real people. That's what I like about veterans especially. And that's why the globalists hate them so much, because they know they're not cowards, and they know about the BS, the Bravo Sierra. He was telling us yesterday about uh, government drug dealing, you name it, over in Afghanistan. We're going to get him in studio coming up. Stuff he saw, the DEA, you name it. Believe me, they're not going to like this. So uh, we're going we're gonna to wake some, wake some people up out there today with uh, Michael Hastings, uh, good buddy. And he's been in the Army a long time, too. A lot of tours. All the he was telling me just some of the stuff he was in. Uh, he didn't like to talk about it, but I got to even tell some of the stories just to let people know what what goes on over there. And he was talking about when they found a real Al Qaeda base. 
I'm going to get him to tell that because because we haven't aired this yet. It's for Obama deception, too. And I'm going to get him to say it all on air today for our own safety. Uh, but, uh, oh, yeah, they're a real terrorist, too, by the way. They're not all just synthetic. So we're going to get uh, Staff Sergeant Biggs to break some of that down for you. Uh, coming up, eFoodsDirect.com. Uh, but, again, that's coming up in the next hour. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can get free shipping on their specials that you find specifically at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. And you can also add their cooking kit to your order to get ready to go. They have a bunch of specials, and they just are pretty much doing this free shipping now off and on every few months. It's very popular. Shipping's one of the biggest costs in high-quality storable foods. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or link through on the banners on InfoWars.com to find the specials. They are the folks uh, to get your storable foods taken care of with. That's who I've chosen, to my family uh, uh, uses, and who my, the rest of my family uses after trial and error with other companies. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633, 800-409-5633. You can call and get a free meal kit and a, and a CD, audio CD when you call as well uh, to test out the meals and, and, and have your meal planning kit absolutely free, 800-409-5633. And uh, don't forget, we are now carrying the film exclusively, American Drug War II. You know, the last one aired on Showtime and a bunch of other channels, and then HBO later. But the point is, this new one hasn't even aired on TV yet. We have, I think it airs in like next week or something. The point is, is Kevin Booth, this is like four or five years in the making. The last one make, took five years to make. This film made me cry, or tear up a bit. Because it's about the CPS grabbing kids, a pot smokers. That's a part of the film. It's about how they then put the kids on all these deadly psychotropics and, and how it hurts the children. That's just part of it. It's a very powerful film. It's got big extras in it as well. The Wall Street Journal said this film is a game-changing moment for both the film and entertainment industry as well as the cannabis industry. The Wall Street Journal. That's just some of the rave reviews. Okay, this is no, this is no, uh, you know, just run-of-the-mill film. And uh, we are the exclusive distributor of the DVD. Infowarsstore.com. Infowarsstore.com. If you want to understand the whole cannabis culture and where it's going and uh, how the government uh, is using it as a pretext for total takeover, Kevin goes inside the, uh, the Emerald Triangle in Northern California to the giant weed growing operations that the police know full well about. <laughs> Let me tell you. The local police are getting their cut. Uh, the feds are the ones shutting them all down because they don't like marijuana because they can't control it. They like heroin, cocaine, Prozac, and other derivatives they can put your kids on publicly. Now you can watch the InfoWars Nightly News streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.